Here we have a 2006 BMW X3 3 litre diesel M Sport in black with the dark grey alloys. Take a look at the offside front alloy first. As we can see, we've got some heavy curb into the alloy, unfortunately. Around the majority of the alloy, or the outside edge of the alloy, there is scuffs and curb marks, so definitely going to require a refurb there. Looking at the offside front tyre, we're looking at around 4 to 5 millimetres there. And looking down the offside of the bodywork itself, there is some small dinks dotted around the driver's door. Uh, rear passenger door does not look like it's got any dinks to it, so it is just the driver's door. No signs of any heavy dents there. Looking around the offside at front quarter panel, again some touchings to the paintwork is going to be needed, as there's just one or two stone chips here and there. Looking at the driver's mirror again, a couple of stone chips to the mirror there. Driver's door itself, there is some um, polish going to be required, so as you can see you've got some light scratches to the paintwork. Again, some light stone chips to the paintwork as well. So again, a couple of uh, touchings and a bit of a polish and mop. A couple of touchings on the door edge of the vehicle there, as you can see there's a couple of car park chips. And some light scratches all along the bottom of the driver's door here. Both of the sills appear to be in nice condition. You've got your roof bars up top and you've also got the privacy glass. Rear passenger door, again some light scratches to the paintwork could do with a polish. A couple of touchings there, a little bit of a scuff below the door itself. And looking on the door edge of the vehicle. Once again, just one or two touchings. Even towards the offside rear quarter panel, again just some light scratches, that appears to be it. Rear tyre, not a great deal amount of tread there really, looking at around 3mm at the most. And looking at the offside rear alloy, as you can see got a bit of a um, scuff on the outside edge there. The rest of the alloy appears to be in good condition with a couple of light little scuffs there as well. And a one or two light marks to the top. It's not as bad as the front, but again there is one or two marks. We've ran to the rear of the vehicle. As we can see, you have got rear parking sensors. Looking at the rear bumper itself, a lot of chips all along the boot edge of the car, as we can see. As we move along the vehicle here, a lot of chips to the paintwork. They are very heavy as well, so definitely going to require some paint. And as you can see, that one being the heaviest there really lifted the paintwork up. There's chips all along the boot edge of the vehicle there. Bit of a mark on the paintwork there towards the near side. Again, some light scratches could do with a mop and polish, but it's definitely going to require some paintwork to the rear of the car there. Take a look inside the boot itself. You've got your parcel shelf. As you can see, not bad condition at all, really. And as you can see, just your battery, etc. No sign of any spare wheel with the BMW. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. A lot better than the offside there, looking at a good 4 to 5 mil of tread. Near side rear alloy again, some light um, scuff marks around the outside edge of the alloy there. Not a bad condition at all on this one. A couple of marks here and there, no real sign of any curbing. Um, it does look like the paintwork's gone a little bit silvery. As you can see there's sort of a silvery tint to them. Um, I'm not sure if that's faded or it's just dirt, but uh, do be aware of that anyway. Looking down the offside, uh, near side of the vehicle, as you can see we have got some small dents down at the bodywork. Two small dents on the rear passenger door and a heavy one on the front passenger door as well. Light scratches moving down the paintwork require polish, a couple of touchings in the door edge there. Again, some light scratches around the bodywork. you got a fingertip sized dent there. And just trying to show you the other one, a bit lighter than that. So you've got one there, and a heavier one there as well. Door edge on the front door could require some touchings, and then you've got a heavy dent in it, the door edge there um, as well. And of course, being black, they do stand out as well. Again, moving down to the front, we've got some light scratches and a couple of marks on the near side front panel, and again, around 4mm of tread on the front tyre there. Near side front tyre, as you can see, we have got some marks around the outside edge. It does look like they've been painted over, to be honest. Um, without having a refurb, it looks like they've just sprayed over the uh, marks themselves. And again, looking a bit silvery on this alloy as well. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, we have got some scratches and some stone chips. No real sign of any heavy damage at all to the front end of the vehicle. And again, it's just a bit dirty 
on the front but there is some stone ships especially to the bonnet so going to require some touchings there as well and of course a bit of a polish as well to the paintwork taking a look at the interior of the vehicle as we can see we're looking at full black leather interior lovely condition inside bit of wear marks there to the uh, the passenger seat and you can see some slight indentations there in the leather probably had a baby seat or something in the back apart from that there's no signs of any damage no rips or tears to the leather back of the seats are also in a lovely clean condition and you can see it's quite tidy in the back there door panels in good nick looking around to the driver's seat Again, bolsters, slight bit of wear into the bolsters there. Again, it's just age related. Front passenger seat's got a slight bit of wearing to it as well. Dashboard, etc., is in good condition. There's real scratches or marks. And the steering wheel's showing some signs of age, but not too bad condition. Auto lights there. Stepping inside the vehicle itself. Again, slight bit of wear in there to the door panel. Now, we are looking at two sets of keys with the vehicle, as we can see here and just getting the car started no problem at all starting the vehicle to start first time no warning symbols on the dash there and we've got 93,156 miles on the car as you can see we've got a multifunction M Sport steering wheel not in bad condition really for its age as you can see we've got a clicking BMW um, touchscreen navigation system as you can see, it works perfectly fine, no issues at all there. And it is currently showing our current location. As you can see, it is BMW and it does work perfectly fine. As we can see there. Nice little feature to the car. CD and radio, no issues at all with that. We are looking at heated seats on the vehicle as well. Again, I have tried and tested those and the bum warmers are very good. Um, no problems at all with any of the blowers and the air conditioning does work perfectly fine. Automatic transmission, taking a quick look at the paperwork now guys. Looking at the V5, we are looking at a four owners. That is the Welsh side, I do apologise for that. Uh, but bear in mind, the car has had four owners. MOT on the vehicle does expire here March 18th 2015, so you've still got a few months left on the MOT. And service history wise, we are looking at a full partial franchise. So as you can see, we've got John Clark Aberdeen, that is BMW there, so you've got 1824, again John Clark, 35, 54, and the last one there is 75,000 miles. Uh, it will require a service, as you can see it was done at the start of the year, but we're currently on 93, so it probably could do with a service. There we have it guys, that is the 2006 BMW X3 3 litre diesel M Sport. We've got the 19 inch alloys, heated seats, CD changer, sun protection glass, auto lights, and also the clicking BMW navigation screen there. Very nice looking car for its age with some cosmetic marks on the exterior and nice condition on the interior.